quick thought. Maybe you were one of those folks that's always wondered, how in the world can I share my faith? I, 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 I'm just, I'm, I'm timid, I'm shy, I don't know how to do it. Well, I want to talk to you for just a minute about cross math and what that is. That's something that we've been talking about here, and it, it's really simple. It's, it's literally a gospel track that you have with you all the time, or you can make it all the time. And it starts out with a cross. Maybe you don't have the tools to make a big cross like this. Maybe all you have laying around is just a couple of ink pens or pencils or something like that. And then you know the common math symbols that we've all learned growing up, the, the plus sign, and then you have the subtraction, or we say minus sign, and then you tilt a little bit. And that's usually referred to as a division or when one number can go into another number or a number can be divided by another number. And then we have the last one we want to talk about is the multiplication sign. And it's, it's real simple to do. All you do is you just uh, strike up a conversation Maybe you might be on a mission trip, and, and that's kind of the whole idea. Or you're in the break room, you're uh, at the food court, and uh, you're in the cafeteria. It, it goes on and on. You could be in your own home. And it's really simple. Someone may bring up the conversation about faith or salvation or Jesus, and, uh, or they may be just working on homework. This is real simple. And it goes like this. It started out, we'll start with the division sign. Uh, Jesus left heaven. The Bible says uh, he left the splendor of heaven to John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that whosoever. So God allowed Jesus to leave heaven and be divided, se separated from the splendor of heaven to come into the world. So Jesus left heaven to come into the whole world. He wants to come into you, so he, that's your divided uh, sign or division symbol, I should say. And when he came into the world, he came with a purpose and an objective, and that is simply so he could take away the sin of the world or subtract sin from your life. When you call on Jesus, you accept him as your savior, you deny your old way of living and you're tired and you, and you, you won't the hope of heaven and to know that when you leave this life there is a mansion prepared for you you accept Jesus you confess him and by doing so not only do you have sin subtracted and taken away from you but the guilt and shame that goes along with it and a relationship that's once again restored to God that you can have and then after that you will find out that Jesus will begin to add all kinds of things into your life that you never, you, you have peace that passes understanding. You have an intercessor, someone that's always watching out for you, that's taking care of you and, and adding joy and peace and happiness and so many things and love and companionship. That's, that's what happens when Jesus comes into our life. So real quick, we went over the division sign. Jesus left heaven to come down here to to be divided, to go into the world so that we could have everlasting life. And also, he came so he could subtract sin out of our life. And also, he wants to add value to us all. Now, the beautiful thing about all that is after he adds value to us, then we are ready to go out and multiply. What did he tell the disciples? He said, go and make disciples. And that's the beautiful thing about it. Once a person's received Christ, they're not to just sit stagnant and be of no use. They can go out and multiply and start the whole process over again. So real quick, Jesus came down from heaven. He was divided from the splendor of heaven so he could come into the world to come into your life. When he did that, he subtracted. He took away all the sin and the shame that went with it. After doing so, when you receive Christ, He adds value to you. you. You are worth more than anything you could ever imagine. And then last but not least, now you are one of His children. You're part of a, a royal priesthood. And He said to go and make disciples and you can repeat the process and give hope to someone else. That's cross math in a nutshell. 
All you got to do is go out, share it with somebody, but wait a minute, what if I don't have anything? Well, if you have a hand, why don't you just use your fingers? How about that? You have that with you all the time. You can use it. Division, subtraction, multiplication, and addition. Subtract, add, divide, and multiply. Sharing the gospel. Easy as one, two, three. God bless you. Listen, there's no way, no way you cannot do this in the name of Jesus.